So what does this do for people? Like people I've heard us talk about self worth fame for a few minutes now, but like, what are the benefits? There's tons and tons of, of studies that have been published showing that taking either, you know, broccoli sprout extract or broccoli sprout powder or even sulforaphane increases the levels of glutathione in plasma and also in the brain. In fact, the first clinical study to show that in the brain was published last year in 2018. In hum- human brains? Yes, in human. This is a clinical study in humans. How did they even get at that? They did um, some sort of magnetic resonance uh, spectroscopy thing. Crazy. Yeah. But it was so exciting because the amount that they were taking was actually would be equivalent to two prostaphanes because it was about almost 18 milligrams a day. They were taking that for a week. And that increased their plasma, and glutathione, and brain. And for people who don't know what glutathione is, it's like the major, major antioxidant uh, endogenous system, in the, and particularly in the brain. I mean, it, it's been shown to have a, a huge relevance for all sorts of brain aging, traumatic brain injury, other neurological disorders, and including um, autism. So oxidative stress, um, which you know plays a role in brain aging and traumatic brain injury, it also has been shown to play a role in autism. Very interesting, there's been two uh, clinical studies, one in children and one in adolescents, where the children were given, on average, like around 12.4 milligrams of sulforaphane a day. Was this done with Avmacol or? I, but this was Avmacol, yeah. Uh, and okay. and the chil- this is for children that were between uh, 100 to 200 pounds. So that would be like four Avmacols or something like that. And it improved a variety of autistic behaviors in both, you know, the children and adolescents. And these are uh, two separate studies that I'm referring to. Hmm. So it's clearly not only increasing, you know, glutathione in the brain, but it's having a effect on behavior, which is which is really exciting. And it's thought that is probably linked to this glutathione because, again, I, I mentioned there's been some evidence that autism is multifactorial. Many, many different things have been shown to play a cause in it and not just one thing. So, you know, of the, of the myriad of things shown to play a role in autism, oxidative stress is one of them. And combating that with glutathione is one of the major ways to improve that. And there's been tons of other interventions trials, for example, eating like 300 grams of Brussels sprouts a day um, increases glutathione levels also in the plasma and also in- decreases oxidative DNA damage by like 30%. So it's like literally Hmm. decreasing the amount of DNA damage, which is, you know, I should probably mention that there has been like an in vitro study that I've seen where sulforaphane at a very, very high concentration was dumped on cells and it caused DNA damage. It's one of those instances, again, where it's like in vitro studies when you're dumping things on cells in a Petri dish has very little relevance unless you're looking at, you know, the, the broader literature, right? You, you've got to look at what happens at the level of the organism, something that's even physiologically relevant. And so it's actually doing the opposite. It's not only increasing the antioxidant systems, it's decreasing DNA damage by quite significantly by 30%. And this is in humans, okay? This is not animals, certainly not in petri cells in a dish. It's in humans. Very important. 